What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so we defeated the Elite Four again. They were all souped up and everything. And now it is time to do something else right here. Let's see, uh, well, once you defeat Red, or no, once you defeat the Elite Four, let's see, I don't think that, yeah, this guy, well, yeah, he, he's talking about his egg. I think you will be enabled to go to red this time, so now we're going to be doing that. We're going to be uh, going straight to Mount Silver right here, and bam, look at that. Okay, so here we are back in Silver Cave, and the last time we went to the Silver Cave, we saw a few individuals, and they were just like the weirdest and all that stuff, so here we are. And now we're just going to be going into the uh, into a Mount or Silver Cave just to look for Red right here. Now I heard that after you defeat the Elite Four again, you will be able to find Red around here. So um, I'm kind of trusting the comments. The the I'm kind of trusting a lot of uh, people that I don't know right now. So again, I'm playing this game all blindly. It's been fun. It's long and. Yeah, I hear that the Orange Islands is just going to get tougher and tougher, so it's just like, you know, this, this is going to be fun, funner, and there's going to be just a lot more that I, I, I need to do, so whatever, I'm not even complaining right now, so again, I'm looking for this guy right here, and well, all you have to do is go straight up right here, and actually, that's the wrong one, yeah, you're going to have to go up right here, but it was that easy, whoever told you that was that easy? There we go, and well, let's see. I'm gonna have to switch up my Pokemon too. Oh god, oh god, wow, what? It, it has been a journey, and wow, this guy right here. Okay, so, oh, these guys, look at this. Mas uh, Mr. G, he took all three of us at the same time and still won. He's powerful, that's for sure. What the hell? Mr. R, he's like, man, he's strong. No wonder Team Rocket had trouble. Mr. H, we're way out of our heads here. Wow, so apparently Red has made his return right here. And, well, he took on all three of them by, by himself. Holy crap. And there he is. I'm going to save this game just in case I screw up or anything like that. I don't even know. Okay, saving up the game. Okay, let's do this. What's up, Red? It's been a while. I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken ass. Let's do this. Dot 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 dot. And there it is, guys. Finally, we're gonna be taking on Pokemon Trainer Red, the most powerful Pokemon Trainer of all time. And of course, he's gonna be coming out with his cute little Pikachu at level 81. I can't prepare for him. Let's go, Earthquake Attack. What's an er well, yeah? What's a Quick Attack gonna do for us? Nothing. So here we go, Earthquake Attack. Suck on that, Pikachu. Oh yes. Now I think I've told the story to many of you guys, like about how I battled uh, Red for the first time. That right there was kind of scary because I was like, I thought that was just gonna be easy, and it took for a level 80 something, 87. Uh, a level 87 for Alligator, a level 70 Ho-Oh, because around that time I caught Ho-Oh, and just uh, another Pokemon just to beat this guy, and wow, was I scared. I was scared. He beat the crap out of me the first time, and wow, it was memorable. It was a good addition, and that's what automatically made uh, Pokemon Crystal and then the Heart Gold series my favorite games of all time, just because it just incorporated two, uh, two regions, and... Yeah, two regions and one badass Pokemon trainer right here. Here we go. Blizzard attack. I know I'm sacrificing my avalanche for this, but... Oh, almost takes him out right there. And, well, let's see. What Pokemon can take this uh, attack? Nah, actually, you know what? I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it like a champ. Here comes that solar beam. And... That is super effective right there. So there we go. Now we're down one Pokemon. And we're going to go straight to Gonjila, Gonjila. Alrighty. Let's go. Flamethrower for the win. That's right. That's how you weaken it. 
Okay, look at that. Venusaur has been defeated. And this guy will be coming out with his Blastoise. So, this is going to be a, an interesting one too because Blastoise is a very tanky Pokemon. And look at that. He's got four and I got five. All right. Thunder. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go with the Blizzard. Okay, so we're both missing attacks right here. So here we go. Thunder. God dang it. Speed. Okay. He's helped me right there with the Thunder. Look at that. He used the Rain Dance. Look at that. Come on. Finish him off. And god dang it. But he's paralyzed. This is always good for me. And here comes that Surf Attack. It will come in pretty hard. Stop. Balls. Okay, so he took out my Raichu. Let's go with Shroom Lee right here. Alrighty. Okay, so it is raining right now. Let's go with a Giga Drain. And this guy using his full restore. God dang. Okay, so that right there is going to prove a problem because it's always the tanky Pokemon that will give us the troubles. And there we go. Nearly takes... Well, it takes a good chunk out of his HP. And here we go with another... Okay, so let's see. Let's go with a Giga Drain. And this, com this guy's coming out with Blizzard. God dang it. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. That is a strong move. And there it goes. Oh, nearly takes... Oh, God dang it. Freezes my Shroomly. Oh, man. This is going to be a battle. This is a battle right here. So... Let's go right ahead and uh, use a full restore. If you could use it, and I could use it too. There we go. Using his, uh, his blizzard again. The rain has stopped, so a lot of his attacks will be not be super effective. And there we go. Here we go again. Mega drain, and there goes Blastoise. Suck on that. Alrighty. Okay, and then he's gonna be coming out with an Espeon right here. So let's go straight back to Godzilla. Godzilla. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Espeon's right here. Battle of the best Pokemon. I can't use Flamethrower right now. So let's go with a Slash Attack. And nearly takes him out. But here he comes out with a Reflect. So now he's got two kinds of defenses right there. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay. I'm going to have to take a shot right here. Flamethrower won't be as uh, damaging, but it will still be something. And... Go swift attack, slash attack. God dang it! Wing attack, wing attack, psychic, wing attack, and there you go. Espeon has been defeated, and here he comes out with his, uh, well, yeah, his most, uh, what you would call it, his most annoying Pokemon, and that is Snorlax right here. So I'm gonna be coming out with a Shroomly, and here he comes out. Let's go, Sky Uppercut. And there we go. Come on. Faint already. Uh, nearly does it. God dang. And there he goes. Strengthening both his defense and special defense. And, well, his special defense mostly. And here he goes with the full restore. So here we go with a Sky Uppercut by Shroomly. Not much of a special attacker, but here we go. Come on. God dang, almost does it. Let's go. One more. Sky Uppercut for the win. There we go. And no more Snorlax. So I've taken control of this of this battle right here. And he's going to be coming out with his Charizard. So let's go with Irwin right here. I could have used Irwin early on right here, but I guess not. Okay, so let's get this going. Waterfall. Since it's a physical attack for this guy... Let's get this waterfall. And does it? Can it? Will it? Yes, it does. Say goodbye to Charizard. And guess what, guys? That is how you do it. I'm throwing out that B sign right now. Yeah, buddy. Throwing out the P sign. And he's just question mark. That's right. That's right. Da 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 da. And then you get a phone call right here. He's like, hello? Draven? It's Axel. I need to speak with you urgently. Could you meet me at Vermilion City, please? I'll be by the office block. See you soon. Thanks. Click. 
So you would think you would like you would cut into a cutscene right here, but no, you're gonna have to meet up with Axel, and the three misters have disappeared right here. So let's go right ahead and use an escape rope and get the F out of here. And well, let's see. We're gonna have to go to Vermilion City, so yeah. We're gonna have to go to Vermilion City, and there we are. We are officially in Kanto again. So let's go fly to Vermilion City. Right here. There we go, and first and foremost, let's heal our Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay, so... So, I'm assuming that we have to, we're gonna have to go to the big building right here. There he is. Okay, so, let's see. Thank you for coming so quickly, Draven. In here. Oh damn. And we're looking, we're looking around right here and the hell? He flips the switch behind the poster and whoa! Oh damn. Okay, okay, so... Wow, this is some kind of high-tech shot right here. Okay. And... It's like, I haven't exactly been honest with you uh, about who I really am, Draven. But now is not the time for that. Okay, so you're not... Okay, so I'm assuming that you are part of Team Saturn? This is the International Police Secret Base, a special HQ. The highest and best officers train and receive their instructions here. I, myself, am an undercover agent working under the provision of Special HQ. But that is off the point now. I have a mission of utmost importance and need your help. Your in or Our intelligence department has provided us with some very grim news. I have reason to believe that Team Rocket is behind a number of attacks uh, that are going on to take, uh, or that are going to take place soon. We have some clues where such attacks might be, yet I cannot stop them alone. As such, I I'm here to I'm here to request your help on behalf of the uh, Special HQ. Can I count on you, Draven? Well, you haven't. Yeah, you haven't uh, been completely honest with me, so I might have to say no, but then again, okay, sure, why not? I'm a nice guy. Thanks, Draven. I knew I could count on you. The first target we uh, we believe will be at the Seafoam Islands. I've already gathered the needed intel for the job. Meet me there. Okay, so... What the hell? Let's see, research and developing. Okay, I'm just going to be talking to everybody right here, see if I can find something. Okay, so, yeah, the Seafoam Islands, holy crap, okay, so, you would think that that would, like, that, it would be the end of this whole walkthrough right here, but no, it just continues on right here, guys, and now, let's see, well, now we have to go to the Seafoam Islands to take care of something right over there, because apparently something's going on that needs our attention right there, so, yeah. Yeah, so stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be continuing our adventure right here to the Seafoam Islands. See you guys.